Hello! Hey! Testing. This thing on? Fuck okay, yeah, it's on. Alright! Hell yeah! Give me a moment here as usual. <laughs> I just like to life I just like to share it up by hand. Do, do, do. How long was it since the uh Isle of Armor DLC? I think it was like two and a half months ago. By the way, I, 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 I struggled to fit the title because it's only 100 characters, but it works. Think about it. The Crown Tundra could be like, um, Monster Hunter World's Iceborne's expansion. And instead of Pokemon, it's Pocket Monster. That's what it stands for. So, yeah. Pocket Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Alright, I think that'll do. Actually, I haven't touched my copy of Pokemon uh, uh, Shield since then, so yeah. This is the Video Game Maniac, and welcome to Pokemon uh, Pokemon Shields, the Crown Tundra DLC expansion. It technically it technically launched yesterday, but uh, to do it, um, I'm guessing the way Nintendo and Game Freak wanted to do a worldwide release, it launched late in, Nor um, in North America, which in turn means it launched on the 23rd in Europe. So yeah. By the time this game came out, I was already doing... Well, by the time the DLC already came out, it came out in, um... In the evening, and... The evenings from Thursday to Sunday is usually where... I'm almost always doing, uh... Postmates and DoorDash and stuff. So, I thought... Nah, I should livestream this tomorrow. And I am! You have the Crown Pass. Show it to the rail staff at Wedgehurst Station. If you want to visit the Crown Tundra, a land where many mysteries lurk within. New adventures await there, in the blanketing snow heights legendary Pokemon of yore. And I just got that shit already. And that dude is he's still playing Pokemon Quest in the background. I don't know if there will be another DLC expansion after this though. If there is, nice. If there's not, I'm not complaining. Either way. Watch her station, they said. Way back here? It's a whole nother world. How's my party looking, by the way? I barely even remember my party in this game. It's because I just play other games. Which is funny, which is odd for me to say, because I'm a pretty big Pokemon fan. I still collect the Pokemon cards. High 70s. Low to mid 80s. High 80s. Not even at a level 100 yet. Ah, oh, but they will be soon. And I still got my Isle of Armor, uh... Karate uniform? Key? Oops. I'm hearing people enjoying this DLC overall. They're saying that the expansion could be what, um, could be like the next evolution of Pokemon. Open world area, proper exploration. I hear there's some pretty winding caves in that place, too. It's Whitehill Station, right? That, that wasn't there before. You have a Crown Pass, too. You can also go to the Crown Tundra. Oh. Da 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 Ooh, south. How long has that been there? <laughs> the Crown Tundra. Da 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 I'm terrible at that. I'm humming Iceborne's theme. And I still play Monster Hunter World Iceborne. 730 hours, I think. This must be your first visit in the Crown Tundra, am I right? I'm researching Pokemon biology around here. 
A number of ancient and rare Pokemon have been spotted in the Crown Tundra, you see. Yeah, a lot of repeat legendaries that I've probably already got like two, maybe three of. I'm interested in the new ones, so like Reggie Draco, Regieleki, Calyrex, the Galarian legendary birds. If I update your Pokedex for you, will you help me research what species appear here? The Crown Tundra Pokedex has been added to your Pokedex. If I recall correctly, it's most of the Pokémon from past gens that you can get now. Not all of them, though. Still, I think there's still some starter Pokémon that are missing. Do your best to complete your new Crown Tundra Pokédex. Are all the Ultra Beasts transferable? I've seen screenshots of uh, of some of them. I know you can get uh, Solgaleo and, Lunala, uh, and Lunala. It's been a while since I came back home, but it seems like a lot's changed. It's a lot colder than I remember. And there's so many rockish Pokémon wandering around. Hmm... Never heard spice some more, I guess. I got plenty to burn anyway. Boy, I'm probably gonna need to dress a little warm. Oh yeah, I also hear people who like the music in this DLC, too. Those are some surprisingly nice-looking trees. People will nitpick the graphics of this game. Come on, Dad, lay off and quit following me already! Peony, that's his name if I recall correctly. I'm gonna go on a Dynamax adventure in the Max Slayer, and I don't need you breathing down my neck! I'm here to battle loads and loads of rare Dynamax Pokémon. <laughs> don't you fret. I know somewhere way more fun than that musty old place. Get ready for loads of quality time with the coolest dad ever! <laughs> he could be Hofstad, honestly. He's got that attitude. What a generous and totally unwanted offer! Afraid I've gotta say no thanks! Jesus, giving him the cold shoulder, huh? Your own paw? Well, what shenanigans have I got myself roped into this time? Come on, Nia, be reasonable! Or get ready to be- Oh, oh my god, I'm gonna cringe saying that stuff. Or get ready to be ultra mega embarrassed as I un uh, as I unleash the noble roar of Dad. Yeah, I'll take a hard pass on that. Thanks. Yeah, I'm cringing over here. I'm cringing and freezing my nuts off, my pokeballs off. Excuse me, hello? Yes, yeah, you, the boy over there. My dad is. Oh, my dad is stuck with steel. You won't leave me alone. Back me up, would you? Yes. Brilliant! Have a great time with the skeezer, Dad. That's your father, right? Hold on, lad. Can't say I approve of you buttoning in blindly. Don't you mean head buttoning in blindly? But if I just give you a tra- Oh, don't even start with any old man. But if I give you a trance this young lady here ought to see reason. Yeah, the name's Peony. Brace yourself. I'm pretty ferocious in battle. Ah, oh, please, do go on. <laughs> You're a challenge for Pokemon Trainer Peony. I was expecting either Ice or Steel type in the area. Alright then, I'm gonna shove my fist right down this monster's trunk. <laughs> Aren't you the brave little one figuring with the one time gin leader? I just breezed through that, I'm sorry. I'm gonna split this elephant in half. I want to do to it what, uh... What's that sweet farty guy's name? Not bad, not bad at all, but watch out! Next time it's my turn. Ow! Not bad. That hill might knock you out, though. Ah! <laughs> it knocked him out. Uh, Balrog. Balrog from Street Fighter. He punched an elephant's skull in. Oh, that poor Agron. I like Agron too. Steel stuff as they come. The more hits it takes, the more ultra mega determined it gets. Oh, 
Is it just me, or does it kind of look a little bit like Rose? You know, Rose, the chairman. Bad guy thinking he was a good guy. Ah, of course. Oh, the hail's not gonna kill him, is it? Citrus Berry. Oh, God. Well, at least they're not faster than me. I hope not. I'm hearing jazz music. It's, it's nice. I didn't even level up from that. Yes, it's not my place to be bragging. <laughs> Look at me taking a thrashing from a youngster like you. Hmm? She gone. My darling daughter's disappeared! Where have you gone, my sweet Nia? Yeah. Are you sure sweet is the word? Of course. My Nia is the sweetest, darlingest daughter a dad could ask for. I brought her out here so we could have a proper father-daughter trip. First one in ages. And now that we've got here, she grabs the first trainer she finds, makes him a decoy, and legs it. Aren't you even making me a substitute? Jesus, man, I should be writing dialogue for this game. Uh, that's my dear near for you. That's just her backward way of showing her papa she loves him. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit snarky here now, aren't I? Even a bit of a smartass. That's the type of girl she is. Ultra mega charming, isn't it? Super special, awesome. What kind of band is that again? Oh, it's for Gigantamaxing. Still, without her, I can't start this adventure adventure of legendary spots I've planned for us. She mentioned wanting to have a gander at some place called the Max Slayer, didn't she? Sounds to me like she wants to um she wants good old Papa to chase after her. Well, she needn't worry. I'm not one for wasting time. Which means it's time I gotta move on. Cheers for a fine battle. I'll probably be rematching with him again, and he'll probably Gigantamax something. I'll be seeing you then, lad. Take care of those strong Pokemon of yours. And the cringe levels have dropped down to zero. He did do a number on my Ushifu, but it's only my Ushifu. Literally, I have not touched this game since uh, the ex since the Isle of Armor. Since I finished life streaming that. And I can honestly ignore just about... Oh, there's an Amora right there. Since when do fossilized Pokemon appear in the wild? Aww. That's a nice Pokemon, by the way. I could just stay away from that Jinx. Used to be black face, now it's purple face. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, God, no. We need an ice pick to enjoy these. That's fine. I didn't want those berries anyway. Overleveled. Overleveled Pokemon. Some Pokemon don't need to be that high level. It's a waste. Oh, damn it. Level berries were actually slightly useful. Um, town map. Can I? Can I zoom out? No. Ooh. That's a lot to explore. So, where am I to go? I could use the damn coat though, because holy shit, my legs are freezing. I'm summer at the at the bottom, winter on the top. Actually, no, more like fall all around. Or spring, I don't know. 
Jesus, how many Jinx are there? Oh, that's nice. I think I could use that to breed a, um, give it to a Mr. Mime. Breed it to get a Mime Jr. Oh, first ruins? Aha! This must be the Max Lear that Neo was talking about. Which means my darling daughter is in there right now, having a giggle with some rare Dynamax Pokemon. Hmm? Oh, it's you again. Well, kid, maybe you ought to come as well. Like I have a choice. It progresses the story. Right, just you hold on, Neo, my dear. Here comes Papa! At least he's full of energy, so... yeah. <laughs> full of metal energy. Oh my god, there's Mammal Swine here? Oof. Appropriate. Very appropriate. Nah, I see my fair share of Obama Snows. I don't have to catch any of these Pokémon. Oh, there's an Autono there, too. Well, I'll beat you for experience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what's up. Mario Sheep is gonna do this to ya. But it ain't gonna be that slow. I'm just gonna go in up the ass, gonna come out your mouth. Why it got a Mega Evolution? I have no idea. I wonder what level the um the legendaries are in this place. 70s, probably? I could ignore that. I can't ignore this, though. Cosmic Power is always a nice move. Oh, look at the Widow Worm! There's a button for checking the map, right? Freezington? Nah. I don't know. Just go where the story takes me. Huh. Please, sir, I can't let you. Oh, I think you can. My precious daughter's in there, and I'm going in after her. I understand, sir, but... What? I'm here to have an adventure, and I want to kick it off right now. I simply can't allow it, sir. <laughs> oh, there you are, lad. So you've come after all, have you? Something the matter? Nothing's alright and everything's the matter. This ultra... Pff, this ultra mega numpty of a scientist insists on getting in my... W That's the first I've heard that word. Num <laughs> numpty of a... I beg your pardon, sir. If you'd be so good as to simply listen, I could let you through. Dynamax adventures are quite fraught with peril, I'm afraid, and... Ugh, I've got no patience for standing here listening to you rattle on the fine print. Dude's got no sense of danger, huh? Ugh, we're just going around in circles. You seem to know this gentleman. Would you simply listen to my explanation? Yeah, I got time for that. If so, then I could allow the two of you to enter as a pair. Okay. Aha, now you're talking! Go on then, let's hear what the good lady's gotta say. And then we'll go find my little Nia together. Right? Right. Uh oh boy, we'll have to breeze through that. Charger bugs? Some of the names of the newer Pokémon escape me. We have Pokémon helping us out with our investigations too, you know? I've got wonderful items in, uh, to offer you in exchange for Dynite or... I, uh, oh, I do have some? No, I don't. Heh. <laughs> uh... Capsule that allows a Pokemon with two abilities to switch between these abilities when it's used. A patch that allows a Pokemon with a regular ability to have a rare ability. I give that to my Cinderace. Its Blaze ability turns into a. Uh... What was it called? It starts with an L. It's like Greninja's Protean. It turns into the. whatever attack it uses, it turns into that same type. Very useful. Only my Cinderace knows. 
U-turn, Zen Headbutt. I think it knows Blaze Kick, and obviously it knows Pyro Ball. Are you ready to hear my explanation of Dynamax Adventures? Gigantic 86 Mark. Hey, what's up? I'm doing good, man. I went to live stream this yesterday, but they chose to release it late, and when it was late, that's usually not the time that I'm live streaming, so I'm live streaming it right now. Yeah, let's make this quick. That's what I like to hear, mate. I owe you one. Dude, dude's probably drinking a lot of energy drinks. Very well, then I will proceed. Can't you catch legendaries in here? From what I've been paying attention to the occasional news about the Crunch 100 DLC. The Max Layer is a labyrinthine underground cavern where rare Pokemon dwell. How do you like DLC, sir? Well, I just started, so... But you know me, I'm... I'm a, I'm a difficult person to, um... To disappoint. Cavern where rare Pokemon dwell, the likes of which normally are not found in the Galar region. Yeah, I've already got a Giratina. I have my copy of Pokemon Platinum somewhere back there. For a team of four trainers, and set off to explore the mysterious Max Lair, see if you can find the legendary Pokemon set to await you in the deepest part of the unusual den. I'll probably just try this once, but I don't see myself doing this a lot. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Ooh. Branches path, da, da, da. Dynamax, Max Ray, catch the Pokemon, okay. Hmm. To avoid the risk of Galar Particle Overexposure, which can cause your own dear Pokemon to lose control, we have prepared Pokemon for you that are resistant to the Particle's effects. Ah, so I'm getting rentals? Right, right, I follow you. You're saying you don't want Galar losing control, so the Pokemon rents some Particles. We might see a rare overexposure. You mean like when Pokemon and Galar were Gigantamaxing or something, and it was like a problem because energy was leaking? That was something incorrect, sir. This is a dangerous place. Please make sure you have a firm grasp of the rules. And yet they're still having this open to the public, huh? I got eight legendaries Pokemon. Nice, dude. I mean, I've seen... You can catch Mewtwo, you can catch Reshiram, which probably means you can catch Zekrom as well. I think just about all the main legendaries from past games. I'm still attached lost, but that's the type of place this is, eh? I'm not sure about event legendaries, but I do know you can catch Keldeo in this game. Right. Sounds like this is all a bit beyond me, so I'll just go on in and... <laughs> He's just gonna wing it. And get cracking. Here comes Papa Mardolania! Leroy Jenkins! Sir, no, I just told you it's too dangerous. What is going on with that man? He does! I pointed that out earlier! He looks so much like Chairman Rose, but his attitude doesn't match the Chairman's at all. Are they related? Are they brothers? Well, when you're ready to go chase him down... Huh. Pardon me, I mean, I meant when you're ready to begin your Dynamax adventure, please let me know. What up? Super stick about 20 piggy. How you doing? I think my Pokemon are overqualified for this, huh? actually. Gohan, named after this uh, panda character from Beastars. Magical Hats. Named after the Yu-Gi-Oh card. Cyber Dark Dragon, also named after that Yu-Gi-Oh card. Bad Dragon, not safe for work. The Devil. Of course, I could have also named it, like, Eren Jaeger or something, like Attack on Titan. Silly rabbit. And I also have my Lucario and my, um, Zamazenta, but... Eh, I could switch them out every once in a while. It's probably not a good idea to head in there alone. Let's turn back for now. Wait, wait, wait. Come on. Yeah. If uh, I lost you to keep one, okay, okay. Adventure. Oh, always saving. What up? Yes, you can, sir. Uh, ooh, you still need the Dynamax Adventure, so we should just train them alone for now. Okay. Um. Oh. Huh. Oh, this is giving it to me. Okay, I'm gonna go with the Luligant. Rental. Aww. Who gets the Toxtricity? Damn, they didn't choose the Toxtricity. Honestly, no. Huh. I mean, I already have every single Legendary before this, so... Well, obviously I'm going with this. Typing. I guess 
as I tried this on um, off camera. I mean, like I said, I've already caught every single legendary before Gen um Gen 8, so I'm not worried. Yes, they are brothers, chairman rules, and the other guy. I thought so. I wouldn't really call it a spoiler. I mean, I kind of figured they looked so alike. Mm, nah, let's just. Well, let's be first. Let's be defensive. Oh, I hope you can pull off that focus punch. I'm about to get my Android 17 on. Wasn't that how he... I didn't see... I didn't really see Dragon Ball Super, but I remember he was, like, putting up so many barriers, and I remember back when he fought Piccolo, um, I think he only used, like, one or two. But then he was putting up, like, several, like, layers or something. Ooh. Oh, you want to put up a barrier yourself? Coaching? Huh. Never heard of that move before. Must be a new one. Not even a scratch. Nah, <laughs> I ain't gonna waste it on ya. Nah, I'm just gonna make it retreat and make it think about what it did. Oh, okay, never mind, we did get a scratch. Water? Fire? Fairy? Oh, you can even get berries there too, huh? This seems pretty straightforward, actually. It's like a little gauntlet, almost. Rape. Okay, let's just knock this one up quickly. Yeah, you're already using that siege that you just what? It no substitutes? Wait, how'd you do that in one turn? The seeking is hacking. Open with them. Well, I'm stuck on pedal dance. Hopefully, I'll knock it out by the time um by the time I get confused. Eh, if only it was a Kingdra. Find water with grass. Hell. No. I mean, maybe I get a hidden ability out of them, but, eh. Yep, feel free to catch them. I don't care. Huh? What am I looking at here? Uh, that's, uh, she I think it's a she -nautic. Is that a Crawdont? Maybe I'll catch the Crawdont. Crawdont's alright. Yeah, that's a Crawdont. Yeah, I'll save the Dynamaxing for later. Oh! Ho oh, ho! Oh ho! Oh. Shit, that almost knocked you out in one hit. Don't continue with the substituting, come on. Maybe you should have stuck with that Tangela. Oh, this is gonna sting. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I forget, is Panel Dance a physical move or a special move? No, it's a special move. 
I remember my Venusaur in Pokemon Leaf Green once in Petal Dance. I think I favored it over Solar Beam because you don't have to charge it up. And I knock out a Pokemon pretty quickly before the uh, confusion sets in. Nah, you know what I'll pass to. Water. I can share my supplies with you if you're in need. What item would you like? I didn't even use any of these, but uh. And I'll take this. Yeah, even my little against some shades. Ooh, that sounds a little more intense. What's a sweet thing doing here? Well, it's definitely gonna be all. S okay, almost all special. Helps to set up a light screen first. This Pokemon definitely warrants it. I'm liking the new music. Well, unless that Suicune uses an Ice-type attack on me, I don't think there's too much um, for me to worry about. But you won't Dynamax, will you? I don't think there's a wrong choice when it comes to Pokémon for this. Ooh. You're still holding on? Oh boy. Psychic terrain, I think this negates priority moves. Hm. Tough. Sukun's rather bulky. Is it going to set up barriers? Oh, another thing. Um, I don't think it's like a catch rate 3. I think it's a catch rate 100% if I recall correctly. Oh, now I can Dynamax. The user turns the ground into grassy terrain for 5 turns, which could actually benefit us. Oh, they about to um, succumb to overgrowth. Oh, here comes the ear rape. <laughs> this sweet goon is stupid. It set up its own psychic terrain and then- oh my god. <laughs> well, it's not- it's gonna work next time though, because I replaced it with my own grassy terrain. We're doing good! Boy, that Crawdon's gonna smack it really hard. How many times did it increase its attack stat? Oh, it won't even go any higher. Well, you better not use Sword Stance again, I swear to god. We're all still standing! Oh. Oh. Photo 
photosynthesis. Itch! <laughs> Another crit. Nice. Oh yeah, I'll throw a Pokeball at you. We're all getting a Suicune, apparently. Oh yeah, there's a chance for it to be shiny too, but I don't recall how... Or oh, what's the odds? Um, what are the odds of that? Oh, it's gonna stay caught. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm breaking out. Shame I played a lot of Soul Silver. Well, I recently played Soul Silver, so obviously I'm keeping this. It was the only Pokemon I caught. Level 70, though, that's not bad. Let's see. Dropped speed, increased special attack. That's. Mm, that's, that's alright. I mean, it's not exactly um, a fast Pokemon to begin with. Liquidation, extrasensory, extreme speed, calm mine. Capable of taking hits, so it's a bit defensive too, but then again, it's already pretty defensive. Um. I guess no perfect stats? I don't know. I'll have to check later. Yeah. I'm gonna purify the water with this bitch. I nickname it something naughty, honestly. Feels like I'm on another planet. Maybe I'm on the surface of Mars. Hang on, I recognize you. Are you here for a Dynamax adventure too? Wicked. Guess we're on the same wavelength. She's kinda cute. I'm Pionia. Nice to properly meet you. What about you? What's your name? What is that, some British slang? That's how you always talk? I talk? <laughs> That's how you always talk? It's not bad. So, is my dad on his way here too? I haven't seen him. Has he got turned around and one up back at the entrance? Listen, sorry for using you to distract my old man back there. He's as stubborn as a mud bray. Things go all right after I, um, things go all right after I left? What is she, a high school student? What? You beat my old man? You sure pulled the blinder there. <laughs> he used to be a gym leader, you know. Even on holiday, he's no pushover. You know, my dad was going mad with excitement for this trip. He kept going on about how he'd planned for us to check out local legends on this super intense adventure tour. Or, adventure, as he calls it. But I mean, come on. What girl my age would be caught dead doing some naff thing like that with her dad? I could try speaking with a British accent, but it's probably terrible. Besides, I really fancy having more battles with Dynamax Pokémon. Ah, the thrill of battling one of those massive, towering Pokémon. Just thinking about it gets me pumped. <laughs> Yiggity. You know what? I just had a thought. You're pretty- oh, here we go again. You're a pretty fierce trainer, right? Then I bet you could handle taking my place on my old man's adventure. Nah, I ain't gonna pass it up. Too right it does. It's a brilliant idea if I do say so myself. He's so hyped up about all this, it'd be a shame to just leave him on his own. And who knows? You could end up running into a I already did, bitch. You could end up running into a legendary Pokemon. How about I meet back up with you two after I've had my own fun in the Max Slayer? Go on then, enjoy your twosome tour of legends. Tell my old man the deal and all that. Mm-hmm. Wink wink, nudge nudge. Oi. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, first have to pay respects.
Where would Speakman fall on this? Speakman, Speakman. Oh, you can even catch a Lucario here. Neat. Or, I don't know. Uh, sweet coon, sweet coon, sweet coon. It's it has like Pokemon cards, man. By Pokemon type, probably. Maybe I already overshot it. Maybe I already overshot it. The poor gentleman has been injured. After much kicking and screaming, I brought him back here. Ah, it hurts. It ultra mega hurts. Nia, where's my darling Nia? Rachel, Rachel. Eh, I guess he's fine. This fine gentleman appears to have tripped on a. <sighs> this fine gentleman appears to have tripped on a rock and stuck struck his head. I'm already enjoying just the weird-ass humor from this, so... Hmm... <clears throat> Adventures aren't to be taken lightly. I've learned that firsthand now. Firsthand, I mean. I was just checking to see if my little girl was behind some rocks. And look how I've ended up. And he's a Steel-type trainer, too. Behind some rocks? Is your daughter a roly-coly, sir? They don't even show him animating getting up. There we go, I'm up. Little bump's gonna keep me down long. That kip's got me feeling bright as rain. How about it then, lad? Did you find my darling Nia? Hmm. Well, here's how it went down. There was this sweet coon, yeah? Huge, horny. She, she, she wanted to catch Dynamax Pokemon. She, she loves the thrill of. I'm not going any further with that. Hmm. You don't say. So dear Nia set on staying away till she's had her fill of this Dynamax adventure stuff. Whew! A lot of fill. And she wants uh, the two of us to go ahead and get crack on the Grand Peony Adventure. You know, I burnt a candle at both ends, working on the best itinerary I could find for my dear Nia's sake. But I guess uh, she's at that age where she doesn't want her old man tagging along all the time. Yeah, eventually they all leave the nest, don't they? And trying to press her into doing what I want to do probably won't win me any Dad of the Year awards. If he is related to Rose, what's his thoughts on Rose being arrested? Trying to destroy the world thinking he was going to save it. Right then, what's your name, kid? Yes, that is my name. Cheers, the VGM! My name's Peony. Wait, haven't I already told you so? <laughs> it's hard not to like this guy, honestly. Wait, have I already told you so? <laughs> then it's twice as nice to meet you. Alright, dude, just don't go bring um waking up some energy vampire legendary Pokemon or something. Let's have ourselves such a smashing adventure that my dear Neil will be itching to join the fun. I'm cringing again. <laughs> don't fret now. I've done all sorts of preparations already. We're going to have ourselves a real treat of a legendary Pokemon hunt. Shot in the dark. Does this guy know Pyramid King Brandon? If you don't know who he is, he's from Pokemon Emerald. He's the Pyramid King, one of the Battle Frontier brains. He has Regirock, Regice, and Registeel, and in the anime, they even brought him back in Gen 4 in Diamond and Pearl when Regigigas was uh, shown, so yeah. So that's excited. Now then, the VGM. But clearly they don't care about the Battle Frontier here in Pokemon Emerald because, you know, Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire didn't even have it. That's... Uh, that's my only pet peeve about the game, sadly. And some of the Battle Frontier brains were actually kind of cool looking. Let's get ourselves to Freezington. It's a town just a short ways off. Time for a strateg uh, strategic planning meeting for Peony's Adventure. I'll fill you in on the details once you get there. I say, let us reconvene post-haste. <laughs> just pulling your leg. Can you imagine if I actually talked like that? Nah. <laughs> I'm just gonna suck avalanches with this with his energy. I swear. So does everyone get their own little trading card or something? <laughs> oh, this one still kind of makes me laugh. Dude, it's supposed to be like a McDonald's knockoff or something in this game, and they're bowing down and shit. Uh, let's see. 
Do I see the name Rose? No. From a steel type gym leader, powerful dynamic battle summit than anyone stuck on pitch meeting is at the work cattle for them to say a seal peony has many fans, especially among men. Composite photo, many puppy on a turn turn to be honest, stuck in a shovel plus they made for a daughter, but then she Ouch. <laughs> Ow. Damn. She needs a spanking. She needs a firm backhand. Daddy's a little troublemaker. Look at him. He's gonna try to capture a Volcana in this place. Again, Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Ignore, ignore, ignore. Because I've already caught you plenty of times. I guess that's a good thing for me. I could just uh, focus on the story. Damn, how do you grow plants in this environment? Maybe they're growing uh, winter green. I don't know. Hello, hello, what have we here? Another visitor. I am the mayor of the of this fair town of Freezington. I must say, it's a surprise to have visitors arriving in our out-of-the-way town one after another. Might you be here to learn about the legend of the King of Bountiful Harvests as well? Ah, you mean Calyrex. Ah, never mind. It hardly bears asking. After all, there's very little otherwise to attract visitors to our sleepy corner of the region. Which is a bit of a shame, really. People come all this way to investigate what turns out to be a mere fairy tale. It ain't gonna be a fairy tale when I'm done. But since you've made the journey, I must offer you this Freezington specialty as a memento. Hey, finally some warmer clothing! It's a shirt emblazoned with the likeness of the King of Bountiful Harvests. I'm afraid it hasn't sold quite as well as we'd hoped. We've got a fair number left over. The illustration's based on extremely ancient accounts of the King's appearance. LeBron James? Elvis? Michael Jackson? <laughs> Hence the unusually sized head. Ah, yeah, Calyrex has that giant head. But we thought it might make the design a touch more hip, as they say. If you'd like to see the, um... If you'd like to see what the king really looked like, I suggest you take a look at the statue by the fields in the center of our village. By the by, while you're here in the Crown Tundra, feel free to let your lead Pokemon out of its ball and take it for a stroll. Farewell for now, then. Oh, didn't I... No, I must have, I don't know, looked around somewhere else. Oi. That flag, though. Over here, the VGM. Dude's trademarked himself. He, sell, he, he, he sold himself out. Hugs. Warm hugs to, um, warm hugs to keep warm. Big bear hugs. That is ugly. It's a wood sculpture, I guess, but if this is supposed to be Calyrex, then... Oh. Oh, I see. Where's its big-ass head, though? It's a statue of Pokémon, but somehow it feels as if it's missing something. Yeah, it is. I've already seen the leaks of this game, anyway. I know what legendary Pokémon it's implying. I don't remember the names of it, though. I do know what typing it is, though. Freezen. Ah. Heh <laughs> uh, just remove the second N. Aha! Here you are! This pokey little place will be our lodgings. Ooh, books. In case we get cabin fever. Oh, there's that piece. But as of this moment, it's also something far more important. Our base camp. I know, I know, not much of a base camp, is it? Still, we've got to give it a proper air of importance, haven't we? Now, enough faffing about the VGM. Let me tell you what the Peony Exploration Team is after. 
around here that have got a fair few strange and mysterious legends. For example, a huge headed Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Harvests, Calyrex. Not to mention, a massive red tree where legendary flying Pokemon gather. And furthermore, I'm getting invested into the energy of this. These great Hulkin dot faced giants are the Reggies. The Reggie feels a maze. Uh, the great Hulkin dot faced giants that sleep in some ruins or something. Etc. See what I mean? This place is just bursting with juicy legends. I just hope they're real, not like the, um. Uh, King Hearts 2's, um. Seven Wonders. Those were all BS. And we're not stopping until we found just how much truth they've got to them. And there you have it. We are the Peony Exploration Team. And that is our grand, noble, magnificent goal. What does Rose think of him if they are brothers, by the way? I mean, until it's confirmed, I'm just speculating. I mean, I, I know you already said so, so... Of course, if I had my way, I'd be doing this with my darling Nia. Tear. <laughs> but who knows? They say even chancy meetings can lead to, uh... Actually, no, that's kind of good. I'll say that. They say even chancy meetings can lead to blissy friendships. So here's to a grand adventure, Expedition Chief the VGM. Chief? Obviously. Well, uh, what do you think would happen if the two of us went gallivanting off together? My dear New York can come along, um, could come along for a grand emotional reunion and find this place empty. Just the thought of it, my own darling daughter, sitting alone in this room, pinning for her papa, drinking hot cocoa, but without the hot. Yo, Death Destroyer, you the beast. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, until I catch an Ultra Beast, I guess. God damn. Gah! Nope, not under my watch. I never let that happen. So I'll be the hold down the Fort Chief. Of course. Which means you get the pleasure of being the Expedition Chief. <laughs> Which brings me to this. Go on, have it. Oh, you're like my guy in Naruto, giving me his uniform, his green matching suit or something. At least it's warmer clothing, though! Oh, it's even got his logo on it. I might have to change my hair. <laughs> Look at that! Fits you like a glove! Actually, it does. Kid size. Hey, Dark Rainbow, what's up? Gonna catch me some legendaries in this cold. Gonna freeze my Pokeballs off. Uh, would have a few to change into, so there's enough to give you one. And if you ever need to change or have a kip, by all means, just head into the bedroom back there. Back here. Oh god, no, I'm too young for that. <laughs> I got some different colored scarves in there, so switch it up if you fancy a bit of style. Oh, these things? Huh. Here, have these too. A clue about the King of Bountiful Harvest. It's written by Peony, and an old photo is attached to it. Yeah, see? It did have that- Oh my god, it's still so ugly. There's a fairy tale in Freezington about the legendary Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Harvest. In the legends, the king is said to wear a massive crown on its head. Or to some people, isn't that its brain? But the wooden statue near the fields in the middle of the village shows no sign of a- Oh my god, you're gonna make this stupidly easy for me, huh? Ay. You obtain Legendary Clue 2. Uh-huh. Ah, yeah, the Reggies. I like those symbols. I, I like the Reggies, honestly. <clears throat> far, far into the giant's bed lies a temple where the giant of stone sleeps. On the temple's door are strange words. Let the bleh bleh Pokemon mm -mm, change one. The door remains firmly shut. I just hope I don't need a Relicanth and a Wayward for this. I mean, there's a level 80 Wayward in, in the Isle of Armor, but, uh... Sunk in the sides of slow side slope lies the temple where the giant of ice sleeps. On the temple's door, we together Iving shall uh, stall of snow firmly shut. And this is Reggie Steel, huh? Uh, let out no walk giant steel. Ah, these are the new ones. Where we door all be and uh, 
when all three are here, I'm guessing. Well, I hope they're somewhat easy to catch. I also hope I don't knock them up by accident. The bird Pokemon of legend. When the sun reaches its zenith, it shines directly down upon a great tree which leaves us which leaves with leaves that seem to burn, it is a legendary wings come to roost. The Galarian, uh Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres, huh? There are legendary clues I've meticulously compiled for hours of dedicated telewatch. <laughs> oh god. First off, wanna have a look at that clue about the King of Bountiful Harvests. Seems like this king's bond with its loyal steed, or whatever you call it, run proper deep. So if I had to name this expedition, I'd call it... <laughs> oh god. True. There's a great big statue of it bang in the middle of the village, though its head isn't as massive as in my notes. Yeah. Don't tell me he broke it. Sadly, no. No need to change. Time to investigate the legends surrounding the Crown Tundra. Oh, you're still not done? Aha, just an idea. Here's a little something to help you out. Wow. You're my fave. Ah, you can do better than me. Still, I appreciate it, though. You put the Master Ball in your bag's Pokeball's pocket. <laughs> corker. This is supposed to be one Ultra Mega Corker of a ball. Corker of what? I don't want to think about it. Use it wherever you think you ought to. I got it ages ago from somebody I used to know. Never could bring myself to use it, though. All that power. You could even capture God with it. If you ever get a bit turned around, come on back to base camp in time. You can't miss it. Just look for the adventure and crew flag I stuck out front. Handmade by yours truly. Anyway, I suppose that's that. Let the grand adventure begin. Have a smashing time out there. Is that my second Master Ball? That is my second Master Ball. I don't even remember where I got the first one. I think... I think when I beat the Crown Tundra DLC, I should transfer every single Pokémon I have and start this game over. You know, just because. Dynitor. Dynamitor. Jesus, dude. Hey, Chief! My... I... My god, dude. Hey, Chief! My pillow's caught your eye, eh? <laughs> your pillow. <laughs> oh, listen here. Oi, listen here, Chief. I've got some wisdom to impart. If you can put your head on it and have a kip, it's a pillow. Jesus. Unfortunately, I wouldn't have left my favorite pillow back at home. I swear to god, if it's a Daki Makura of Rose. That'd be weird. So I went to have a look around town for something to rest my head on. And I found this out back behind the inn. Can I have it? C come off it! You you want me to hand over my ultra mega comfy it's a rock. Or actually no, it's it's wood. Ultra mega comfy pillow? That's asking a lot, even coming from you, Chief! I'm barely keeping it together, man. I'm barely keeping it in. Hmm? What's that? You think my pillow's got something to do with the legendary Pokémon? Gah, Ultra Mega, seriously. Nah. This is just something old- this is just some old thing I found. Ultra Beast, Mega Evolution... But if you really want it, Chief, who am I to refuse? Alright, alright, go on then, have it. But you better make sure you track that legend down. Yoink! 
Mm. Well, that was easy. <laughs> uh, yeah, might as well. Can I change my hair? Hmm. I'll go fire because, you know, it's in the race. No. And I can't change my... No, I can't change my hair. Okay. Eh, you know what? This this uh, shows off the DLCs of this game. Isle of Armor up top. Crown Tundra from the neck down. Those are some giant ass fruits. So I guess step one, capture the Reggies. I still can't believe Ushifu's a legendary. It's one of the weaker ones, too. It's based at, um, Fully Evolved is only 580. Hell, regular po- There are some regular Pokemon that have higher stats than that. Pseudo-Legendary is at 600. Oh, and Slacking, 680. It's as strong as a regular Legendary. It looks like the Wooden Crown could fit onto the statue here. Ah, oh boy. I'm gonna need some glue for that, though. Or maybe it's like a peg. Russell, Russell, Schwunk. The wooden crown fit perfectly on the statue. Oh boy. Rowan. I sense a disturbance in the fore. Oh! Oh my god. Is it. Want you to follow it? Holy shit. I'm already seeing things, aren't I? Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me, uh... Just for um... Yeah, okay. This just minding its own business here, huh? Oh, look, it's got the Triforce on its little bulbs. Cra... Cron. It seems as if the mysterious Pokémon wants to test your strength. Already? Do you want to ready a Pokéball? Cra... Rokron! Oh shoot, I forgot to save. Or am I not meant to capture it just yet? No, I'm not meant to capture it just yet. Uh, typing. If I recall correctly, it's Grass and Psychic. Shoot! <laughs> That's what Ushifu struggles with the most. That's a good um that's a good battle theme for it though. Very regal. Oh, and then it gets a little more upbeat. A little more Pokemon. Yeah, kick in the head. I don't think I was supposed to catch it, honestly. It seems way too soon for that. Yeah, I definitely wasn't supposed to. Aww. Do you want a salt lick? Crack crown, crow, roan, roan crown. Did you have fun? 
Crown Rion, Crow Rion, Ravaron, Cacaron, um, Cacaron. Recown, Croco Crown, Crown, Recrown. Corona. Hmm. Well, if you want one of my crowns from Fall Guys, all you have to do is ask politely. Oi, oi, what's up? Oi, oi, oi. I heard big ruckus coming from over here. Oh, imagine if it wasn't there anymore. You know, for a legendary Pokemon, it's not really... It's got balls. Obviously. Big ones. What's this now, Chief? Were you having a Pokemon battle? Huh? What a massive noggin! Hmm. Rum, cro crown, crackown. <laughs> oh, I thought it left for a sec. What? What's this? Oh shit! All oh, right, psychic type. Lurg. Yoni? Uh, wait, are you speaking through him? Ah, uh, yes. A sturdy body. Just as I expected. Wait, I've seen this in the anime before, too. It was a Deoxys special. Back in... 3rd gen. Deoxys used Team Rocket's talking me out um, to communicate with Max. I hope he doesn't mind that I make use of it for the time being. Chief Peony? Chief Pokemon? Oh, I see you've grasped the situation already. Very astute of you. You two don't do this shit. Well, in the movie it did. I am Calyrex. I am the one known as the King of Bountiful Harvests. I have borrowed this man's body in order to thank you in person, so to speak. Stiff neck, I'm sorry. Indeed. There are no words to adequately express my gratitude towards you for restoring my statue. Hush, hush. If he, if he asks what kind of statue, would, uh, if he asks the quality of it, I'll just say it's a work of art. I ain't gonna say that I've seen better graphics in a Nintendo DS game. <laughs> Seriously, I think I have seen better, um... I think it looks a lot better on Nintendo DS game than it would on this game. Alexander Laz. Hey, what's up, man? I'm getting some new people here. This, uh, this Pokemon is speaking to me. The voice speaks to me. Express my gratitude in restoring the statue. In days long past, I reigned over these lands as king. The humans offered me their loyalty and respect, and I was able to bring lush vegetation to the land and give them plentiful harvests, year after year. Grass type. However, it seems that over many, many years, the people of this land have forgotten my existence. Suddenly I want to hug him. I mean, it looks like a big floating deer. I, I like deer. Deer are so cute. I am playing Crown Tundra, but I'm stuck. I'm guessing you're further, um, you're further than me right now, huh? Uh, but even that tradition has long since been lost to the ravages of time. You see, it is the faith of the people that grants me strength. And now I have lost all but a fraction of my former power. Even my loyal steed has abandoned me. I've already seen the leaks, so I know where this is going, but... However, you were kind enough to restore my statue. That act has returned some strength to me, at least enough to speak to you by borrowing the body of another. Now, kind-hearted human child, I have a favor to ask of you. Will you please capture me? Now that comes later. I must know once and for all whether the people have truly forgotten about me. 
Do they not see him? Or it? Oh, you're not? I am supposed to look into the King of Bountiful Hills. So you're... Um, so I'm ahead of you then. I wish to speak to the villagers and ask if they remember the King of Bountiful Harvests. Harvests, not hills. I have tried asking them myself, you understand? But they treated me like some sort of fairy tale cre wow. Fairy tale creature or flew into a mild panic at the sight of me. Aww. Is it wrong to say that I actually hit a deer once with my car? Well, technically the deer hit me. Didn't even leave much of a dent. Actually, it, that actually happened to me yesterday on I posted it on Twitter. I was doing DoorDash and Postmates um, in Berkeley, California, East Bay area. Just came out of nowhere. Smacked me on the si on my uh, on the driver's side. It it's fine though. The deer's fine. My car's fine. I, I don't mind a dent or two in my car. It's a used car anyway. Please, kind-hearted human, I beg of you to help me kind-hearted. It's an honor. You jotted down the current status, um, status on Legendary Clue 1. Galarex appeared once I placed the crown on the statue of the King of Bountiful Harvests. Galarex can apparently speak to humans by taking over a person's body. Peonies, in this case. Now I need to gather more information on the King of Bountiful Harvests from the people of the village. Talking to NPCs, huh? My specialty. I would like to ask you, yo yeah, yo, yeah, okay. How you doing? He's going Super Saiyan Blue. He's. Well, it's not really T posing. <laughs> but, uh, Calibrex is not there yet. Seriously, I could sculpt something better than this. Mm. Yo guys, there's a legendary Pokemon over there. You uh, you're just gonna stay right here and be cool, okay? Hello there, welcome. I've got some. Okay, let me see. Here. Ooh, ooh, milk. Yum. I'll take twenty. Lava cookies. Ooh, lava cookies. I like these. I used to hoard those in Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Also, this music—it's giving me Final Fantasy IV, Final Fantasy III vibes. It's nice. Wow. Hmm, I'll pass. Welcome to Freezington. It must have been quite a journey to get here. The Crown Tundra is famous for carrots, you know? You mean no berry variants of carrots, just plain carrots? Maybe you'd be interested in getting some carrot seeds as a souvenir? Oh ho ho, quite the enthusiastic one, aren't you? Well, I must admit, these seeds are rather valuable to us. That seems like a very, very poor trade. It'd be like me trading a diamond for an apple. Whatever, I can probably get more of this ore stuff. Yes! Oh, I found out what to do. Nice. Oh, wonderful, this is plenty. Now we can bury the ore in our fields and make our crops huge. Here are the seeds promised. I feel like I just got swindled. Don't go planting those seeds I give you willy-nilly in the village's fields now. These fields are for our own crops. The King of Bountiful Harvests? I used to believe it was real, you know. I was told that if I made mischief in the fields, the King would steal my body away. The Pokemon King? That's- that's a- that's an interesting- The Pokemon King. Huh. I'm, I'm thinking Disney parody now. Oh sure, my grand used to tell me stories about it all the time when I was a kid. Oh, thank you, dude. Thank you very much. I think I'm like 10 or so away from 2000. I'm getting there. I need to think about what to do when I uh, reach 2k though. Oh sure, my grand used to tell me stories about it all the time when I was a kid. An old fairy tale that. I can pick that up. Ow, rock. 
Mayor's house. Do I remember the King of Bountiful Harvests? Why, of course I do. It's only the main tourist attraction of our lovely Frasington, after all. I imagine we would see more visitors if only the king were real. Boy, that Calyrex is gonna have... Uh, it's gonna be, um... Oh boy. The King of Bountiful Harvests? Well, if it exists, why doesn't it heal the land around here so we can grow crops for a change? It's weakened, probably. He's gonna be like, Oh, they have forsaken me, have they? Ah, my Cinderace. Eh, it doesn't really even need charcoal. Oh god, no. Run away! Was that everyone? No, almost everyone. Oh dear, I'm sorry, I'm rather busy doing nothing right now. You've asked the people of Frasington about the King of Bountiful Harvests. Time to report back to Calyrex. I like that in this, um... Rarely do you have, um, do you interact with a Pokemon like this. You have a Pokemon itself talking to you. Ah, human child. I trust you were able to speak to the villagers. So, how was it? Did they say anything about me? Hmm. <sighs> it is as I suspected. Nobody truly believes that I am real. It seems the people of this land have indeed forgotten the bond they once shared with me. Hmm. Oh no, of course I am not grieving. I am the King of Bountiful Harvests, after all. I know better than to count on humans to remember me. Oh. This proves beyond doubt that I cannot simply rely on human faith if I want my powers to return. If only my loyal steed were to return to me, I would regain something of what I've lost. Yeah. Yes, the four-legged Pokémon that I used to ride all across the land. The very same Pokémon that my statue in the village shows me riding. Alas, though in ancient times we spent many days together, dashing through the valleys and over the mountains of this land. He was my good friend. My soulmate. Maybe even my love. Ugh. My power waned and I was forced to part ways with it. Now I know not where it may be. Even if we should succeed in locating my loyal steed, I have my doubts as to whether it has remained... Well, loyal. Yeah. A horse Pokemon. Hey, Drake Dragon, what's up? I have lost so much power. I'm liking this DLC, man. I mean, I was already going to like it regardless, but I liked the, um, the, the, uh, the story already. Perhaps the villagers know something about my currently not-so-loyal steed. It would be in your debt if you could speak to the head of the village on my behalf. If you are able to find any information at all, I ask that you let me know. I must go now. The planet needs me. <laughs> Gah. Huh? Chief? With a massive noggin. Or... Wait, no, it's normal. I must have fallen asleep where I stood. Sorry about that, Chief. Still, I feel strange, like my body's not quite my own. Guess I'll head back to base and get some rest. Besides, it's freezing out here. <laughs> and why do I ha um, suddenly have a craving to lick on a salt lick? There are There's actually two horses, one ice and ghost. Yeah. I just got to the star tournament. Oh, then you've already beaten this, probably. I heard you can beat this in, like, five hours or so. Anyway, the mayor... Uh, oh yeah, right back here. The mayor's not home at the moment. He wants to have a look at the fields in the giant's bed. You can go look for him if you're in a hurry. The fields in the giant's bed are to the southeast of the village. Go through Frostpoint Field and just keep going to the left. Luckily for me, I can breeze through all the, um, all the Pokemon encounters. Eh. I had that for my Luligant when I was doing the, uh, Adventure. Ah. 
I should try to enjoy the music, though. It's nice, though. Yeah, like it's four hours to play it. Oh, what's the name of this Pokemon? Boltound? I heard there's like three missions you can do. One involves the Regis, one involves Calyrex, I think. I should gauge myself. If it's if it's as long as I think it is, then I could probably beat this easily in two live streams. And then I can continue uh, Resident Evil Revelations 2. Ooh, there's a Mimikyu here. I got a lot of watts. Oh, yeah, you better run. You better run too. EXP fodder. Oh, there's a lot of fog. Like, you have to get the Regis and the Galarian birds, which roam in Calyrex. Ah, roaming legendaries. In an open world game like this. Well, mostly open world. Well, somewhat open world. Imagine if Gen 9 was like Breath of the Wild for Pokemon. Ooh, that'd be a nice. Hey, a. Poltegeist? Yeah, that's what they're called. I think I'm heading in the right area. Oh, that's a. Uh, Nidoran male. No, no. I don't need to catch you. Just. Oh, a Galarian Ponyta! Oh, those are cute. They're like, they're like little cotton candy ponies. Oh, don't hurt yourself now, come on. Shoo! Shoo! Get away! Go on, get! A little warning, the Galarian birds are hard to catch up to. You mean like the like the slow like the slow pokes um in the Isle of Armor DLC? Or for whatever reason they they uh they were able to haul ass. I can imagine the Zapdos being like that. Oh. Look at that tail. Doesn't this Pokemon look like one of those, um... It has to look like a... Like a poet in a coffee, um... In a coffee store or something. Oh, a little pony. So cute. I'm just hoarding Watts. Yeah, something like that, but a little different. That's a good move. Whatever you do, don't drink it. How many people have caught this Pokemon and nicknamed it Cuphead? <laughs> Cuphead and Mugman. And then when it involves Mrs. Chalice. God, that DLC has to come out soon. It's probably coming out next year, though, because... I, I imagine it's a lot of work. Will it double the length of the original game, though? I have no idea. God, I hope I'm heading in the right direction. Ooh, Clefable. I'll ignore you. Played all. Giant's foot. I think I'm heading in the right direction. Ooh, Paparaja. Giant's bed. Oh, I think I'm not heading in the right direction. I'm already here, though. But where exactly? Living off the land. A few more watts that I can recharge my Nintendo Switch, no problem. <laughs> Imagine that. In this world, do you think they play like, um, do you think they play Nintendo console games and there's like, uh, oh, I have one of you. And, uh, instead of Pokemon games, it's like, um, something similar but with real world animals? 
Imagine that. I think there's a little, um... Oh, Snorlax. I think there's a... I think there's a comic I've seen on, on, on the internet of that. What the hell was that? Anyway, catching me some Legends and Dynamax Adventures, the Tundra's focused on Legends. Yeah, it is. Ah, Grimmsnarl. I like this Pokemon, man. I got one in my party. When I face Reggie Draco, oh, Grimmsnarl is the Pokemon I'm gonna use. I hear it's got a very powerful attack. Beep, beep, beep. Oi, oi, it's me, Peony. How are things, Chief? What's that? You found someplace Rooney looking? That's got to be one of the places, you know, where the legendary giants are supposed to be. Do you see a door with mysterious writing on it? I hear no one's been able to get it open. Ever been able to get it open? If all that's true, I think I call this particular adventure. <sighs> Boy, they saved themselves a fortune on that animation. Ah, well, how's that grab ya? Right then, Chief. I eagerly leave the rest of this research in your hands. Talk to you later. I hope I don't have to, uh... Actually, no. If it's Braille, I can just look up uh, an image and translate it myself. Oh? Something is written on the door. Let the first Pokémon hold the never-changing stone. Uh... Huh? Everstone? Where's my goddamn... Um... Everstone, 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 Everstone. I should have tons of those, honestly. Ah, here we are. It'd be nice if it was Braille. Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! One zero me. Alright, now get... No, I gotta give you back your muscle band. Uh, the Tundra's focused on legends. There's some choose there's some choosing like how you get Ushifu with the horses and the new Reggies. Yeah, I heard about that. You can only choose either Reggie Alecki or Reggie Draco. And then I guess with the horses as well. Well, I like how they added the animation just appear on the screen. Yeah, it honestly adds to the charm of this DLC. It makes me looking forward to replaying the whole game again. You know, just transfer all my Pokémon to Pokémon Home, and taking a slightly different route. I'll save again, just to be, uh, safe. Aw oh, man, this music takes me back. The huge Pokémon statue is looking down at you. Connect the dots. Oh, I gotta think about status affliction moves. Uh, who can learn Thunder Wave? Do I even have Thunder Wave? This would benefit me if I could, uh, let me see. No. Um... How do I... Oh, there we go. No... No... Do we not have anything that inflicts a status condition? Do one of my Pokémon know it? I honestly don't remember. Because like I said, I haven't touched this game since uh, I beat the Isle of Armor DLC. No, it's none of these. Not Will-O-Wisp. Not that one. I guess we're gonna do this the old-fashioned way, huh? 
Again, I hope I don't knock it out by accident. Something changed in the air. Oops. But look, it took me a while with timer balls to catch them. Ah, boy. <laughs> don't waste the master ball now. A rocky power is emana emanating... Oh, is this Reggie Rock? I thought it was Reggie Steel. <laughs> a rocky power is emanating from the Pokemon statue. Zaza, Zariza. When's the soundtrack dropping? Hmm, level 70. I saved, so go ahead. This is a flowing water. Damn. Almost. Don't do that again. Holy shit, dude! Damn! What have you been doing? Shiny farming? Uh, Thunder Punch. Oh boy. Okay. Let's see, you know Super Power, you know Curse. I don't really have a Pokémon that can resist that, do I? Well, we'll see. No, is this fighting type attacks? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, kinda, and some online. Sadly, I'm too casual for um for online multiplayer with this game. I should, but I spend my time playing other video games, honestly. Fall Guys, Monster Underworld Iceborne. What did you say about my mother? Nah. Well, I'm gonna need more Ultra Balls after this. I hope it doesn't know a rock type attack. Damn. You don't want to stay in the ball? It's nice and cozy. Come on. It's so small looking. Catch rate 3. Honestly, I should be happy it's just using Curse, but maybe I shouldn't be. It's only a matter of time until it gives me a wallop. Oh, what if it knows Iron Head? No, Registeel with an Iron Head. This Pokemon probably knows Stone Edge. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> eh. Times for resistance. 0.25%, bitch. No, 25%. Hammer arm, superpower, curse. I did just get Pokemon Shield, but it doesn't have a DLC yet. Hey, if it's just using fighting type moves, I can I can hold my own. My, uh, my Hatchrin is slow, but it's pretty resilient. Oh, Ah, there it is. That's what I was worried about. 
also has Stone Edge and a couple of fighting type attacks. Oh. Hmm. Ghost. Yeah. I might want to pop an X defense. If I even have them. Sharply boosts the defense stat. I don't need to curse for this bitch. Oh, but if it gets a crit. Oh, and it's Stone Edge, too. It's got a high crit ratio. The new Valerian and Slow King is cool. Yeah, I, I've seen it. It's as if the crown uh, takes control of it. I think that's enough. Nah, let's play it safe. One more. I'll go back and buy more Vs if I have to. Be smart about this. Yeah, good thing I bought more Ultra Balls. Still. Oh! Ooh! Fighting type moves will work on me. I only got enough Stone Edge moves, though. I've already counted two. We can only use three more. I think Sloking is dead in the shells now with control. It's like Parasect. The host is dead, and only the Parasite is in control. Hmm. Might be time to bring out a timer balls. Oh, silly me. I could use the quick ball at the start. I'm not sure dust balls work here. Oh no, wait, they might. I'll try a dust ball. Hmm. If I had more of these. Uh, dust, dust, dust. Yeah, dark places such as caves. Mm. <laughs> I mean, it maxed out its offense, I've maxed out my defense because I have to. You're lucky my dragon pulled can't flip the bird. Oh? Oh. Four fingers. Which finger do I flip? Four toes, too. Oh, do all the legendary Pokemon um, that come back in this game, do they all have their own uh, themes remastered? Oh, I listen to that. You only got one more Stone Edge, and then you're pretty much worthless on me. Alright, back to Ultra Balls we go. Um, yeah, it kind of was, but I'm guessing it's so that every region gets it um, at the same time. I mean, I'm not complaining. I mean, I was going to play it eventually. I could, I, I wouldn't mind if, a, um, if, it, if it took a day or, or two. Or... I don't mind if it was late or not. God damn. Again, the goddamn ball, why don't ya? I gotta teach my Pokemon a paralysis move or something. I gotta teach one of them Thunder Wave, if possible. Or Hypnosis. Their songs. Oh! Oh. That's like the fourth time that's happened. 
Oh, and if this keeps go, um, this keeps going, it'll struggle. Again, glad I saved. Superpower has five power points. Stone Edge has five power points. I think Hammer Arm, Hammer Arm has ten. You can't use Stone Edge anymore. You've run out. That was your best shot, honestly. You're gonna run into that soon. Never, uh, NRM, you said, lol. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you can. That's what I'm starting to worry about. Chris is... 20 power points? Or is it 10? Oh, you really hate Pokeballs, don't you? <laughs> and the other two are gonna probably be like this. Hmm. Oh shit. Ooh. Oh! That was quick! Wow. Yikes. Um... <laughs> you struggled rather quickly. Damn. I bet the other two are going to be like, um, just like that. And I gotta catch it too, I guess, to progress the story. Hmm. Can I get Thunder Wave somewhere? Give me a sec here. The birds were hard to get in timer balls. Catch rate 3, man. Or, or something like that. Uh, let me see. Thunder Wave... Pokemon... Shield. Ah, oh, you gotta be shitting me. I gotta do a race. Um. Oh, but here's the thing. Can any of my Pokemon learn that move? Oh, my Grimstone can learn it. Oh, my Hatchet too. Okay. It's worth getting. Uh, where is it? Mm -hmm. Underwave. Da, da, da. Where to find it? You receive this TM for completing the Rotom Rally race that runs from the Bridgefield Pokemon Nursery to East Lake Axel. Okay, so I gotta go back to uh, the wild. Um, da, 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 right over. Damn. I'll come back here. Don't worry if you beat them, you can retry again without reset. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Have to come back here later. Bridgefield, right? Yeah. Bridgefield. I've actually I've actually never done one of the races in this. Hmm. Who do I talk to? Oops. Nope. Back.
Which one? He's like Axwell. This seems easy. Hey, if it's easy and quick, I'm not complaining. I see him. Oh, the fog, though. Damn. Can I encounter Pokemon and... Oh, that's what happens. <laughs> if I touch them, they make me spin out. That sounds about right. Ah, shit. Oh, there we go. Ah, get out of the way! Don't block the bridge. Kitty! I don't want to hit the kitty. Oh, are we already here? That was easy. How'd I do? Hmm. That was easy. Yay! I need this move. Now, who can learn it? Yeah, hey! Bad Dragon can learn this move, too. Uh, but, uh, I should probably... Nah, give it to Bad Dragon immediately. Do I have... Wait, do I have Dive? Um, give up on having a performance on the group? Yes. I think I have Dive. Ah, okay. It doesn't really need Dive right now, anyway. My Gohan knows the Water-type move, anyway. This'll help out. Paralysis also, it'll keep it from struggling prematurely. Because the game wants you to catch them because you need them for the new Reggies. Yes. Huh. Right then. That was easy. Can I fly back here? Nope. Eh. I'll have, to, um, I'll have to do all the other ones. Never really bothered doing that when um when I was playing this game. Who wants a hug? Who wants a ghostly cuddle? That took me like what two, three minutes. If I recall correctly, and Regigigas can make more of these Pokémon. Zaza, Zariza, Zaza, Pachulia, former Golden State Warrior Center. All right, let's try this again. Well, I hope I don't crit you to death. Only Stone Edge will hurt me. Starts cursing more, then I should probably uh, start using the X defenses. Mm -hmm. 
Wait, what ability does my Bad Dragon have? Does it have pressure? And I haven't even checked. Hmm. No, it probably doesn't have pressure. Clear body, okay. Nibble, nibble. Ghosts can't be fisted, dummy. Even if it's a crit, it should still be alive. <clears throat> Ouch. That's three stone edge. Has that actually succumbed to paralysis once? Yeah. You can't fist this bad dragon. Oh, and it's a bad, bad dragon, actually. I remember one time I played, uh... I played against someone in Pokemon, uh, Sword and Shield. I literally wiped out their party just with my, um... Just with my Dragapults. It didn't really have a good party, though, so... Eh. That's a crit capture. Damn! Even a crit capture isn't enough. <laughs> you know what's pointless? A Master Ball having a crit capture. There's probably a video of that on YouTube somewhere. God, this is just as much of a pain as it was in Pokemon Emerald. Hmm, you know, one Stone Edge could actually knock me out. Meh. I'll just revive, I don't mind. If it keeps doing that, then I don't have to worry. And to think, the other two are probably going to be just as much of a pain to capture. Or does Chris only have five power points? I don't know. Five or ten, maybe. Probably ten. I'm seeing it shake more. Thank god you're not a ghost type. That'd be unfair. That'd probably be more annoying than uh, trying to capture a legendary Pokemon that, that can recover itself. You know, like Mewtwo or Arceus. Don't tell me you've run out of attack power um, of attack moves already. You might still have a stone edge left in ya.
He might be out of super power. I'm not keeping track of that, I'm just keeping track of Stone Edge. I think it's used three times. Maybe four. And then Regice and Registeel. Do they also have Hammer Arm and Super Power and Curse? Well, maybe not Regice, but. I imagine Registeel would have Iron Head. Come on, stay in the goddamn ball, it's nice and comfy. Oh, that's gonna kill me. Oh, it definitely killed me. Ooh. Good thing I'm not doing a Nuzlocke. Holy huh? shit. Just for Galarian Slow King entry and it says it shell controls it. <sighs> Jesus. Like a possessed hat. Yeah, don't do squat on me. Oh, it's not even shaking. Holy shit. Not shaking. Holy, come on. I don't think it's even been paralyzed once. How slow is it now, though? Oh, there it is. Oh god, it's gonna start struggling, isn't it? How do you even function, by the way? The fuck, man? They're not even shaking! You're fucking kidding me? Oh sure, it shakes once for me. Maybe I should try a dust ball. I've seen it shake three times, plenty of times. <laughs> Meanwhile, all around this Regirock rock are the broken fragments of discarded Pokeballs. Trash. How much are these Pokeballs even worth to make? I'm gonna start struggling soon. One struggle, I'll knock it out, I swear. Yep, 
Yep. Fuck. Wait, is Struggle a... Hmm. Why'd you rock stop moving again? Well, I'm obviously gonna load back, because, you know, eventually it'd be a waste of money. How do you... Can I soft reset? Ah, screw it, just close. How long have I been at this? A half hour? I don't know. Hmm. Boy, Mr. Rabbit done has been busy with this. Hard working. Now, if it was a shiny, I'd use a Master Ball on, it on the spot. Zap zap! I don't use Outrage, because it might go three turns, and for all I know, it'll knock it out. Good. Uh, another Psychic Things. Ooh. Alright, that's one. It should just knock you into the red. Stone Edge used. Oh, two. I haven't even used Curse yet. Imagine. Nah. to the next one. Reggie Rock Rock Pew Pokemon Cutting Edge Technology was used to study the internals of this Pokemon's rock body, but nothing was found. Not even a brain or a heart. <laughs> Is that bad? You know, I used to smoke. No one's gonna get that. You jotted down the current status on Legendary Clue 2. Far forward to the blah blah blah. Uh, let the first Pokemon hold a never-changing stone. When I gave my Pokemon an Everstone to hold, the door opened and I found Regirock. Sweet! Oi oi, it's me, Peony. You looking out for yourself, uh, out for yourself out there, Chief? Come again? You met the rock giant Regirock? Hardly. I'm taller than Regirock. <laughs> Smashing job. Smash... Smashing job, Chief. Am I getting Nigel Thornberry vibes from this? Smashing. Now, time to keep looking into the other giants. Keep up the good work. Eat your heart out, Pyramid King Brandon. 
Reggie feels a me. Yeah. Yeah, these buttons don't work anymore. Nice. Yeah, man. Now, how about the other two? Are they going to be just as much of a pain? Eh, they probably will be. Well, anyway, let me see here. Let me travel back to... Head to the giant's bed to find the mayor. Oh, I haven't even been here. Oh, Where'd you get a Cosmog? <laughs> oh, that's Foofy! I found it shivering outside the village and just had to bring it home. You know, I think it was just about when I found Foofy that the other strange Pokémon began appearing in the tundra. Foofy. I've never seen a Pokémon like Foofy before. Ah, shit, I, I'm already forgetting what... What was, what was the nickname of uh, the Cosmog in Pokemon Sun and Moon? Uh, Nebby? In the bag, Nebby. I think it's Nebby. I've never seen a Pokemon like Foofy before. <laughs> Maybe it'd be best to have a proper trainer take care of it. If only I could find a dependable one. Not yet, huh? Damn, giving me the cold shoulder, okay. Do you like walking around together with your favorite Pokemon? Hell yeah, man! Right, it's the best. Enjoy walking together all over the place. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, I'll get that Cosmog. Yeah, the Reggies are named after Reggie. That that was a joke too. Like I remember, like uh, like like an old meme. Reggie feels a May Gigas or something. Huh. Neat. I mean, I know there's some pretty useful new items in this game, like, uh... Something boots? Hazard boots? You give him on a Charizard, it'll resist, um, Stealth Rock, it's gonna do shit to it. Or Volcarona, too. Stealth Rock is pretty common in the metagame. Raise the speed sharply when a Pokemon misses with the move because of accuracy. You think Calyrex would be there, but it's not. Not until you complete story. Yeah. Uh, not yet. I just gotta risk um. Restore my party. Look for the other two temples. Mm -hmm. That's a strong poison type move. Garbage. Oh, footprints. Yes, there they are. Where'd you come from? These are exactly what I was looking for. I knew my hypothesis was spot on. Hmm? Wait, the VGM? What are you doing in a place like this? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What are you doing here? I keep asking myself that um, exact same question. If I'd known it was going to be this cold here, I would have thought things through a bit more. But here I am, stuck in the Crown Tundra, trying to learn more about a group of Pokémon. There are some Pokémon that prefer places where there are no people, you see. Pokémon that choose to live in isolation. The, uh, the Crown Tundra here is just a place for that sort of Pokémon. If my theory is correct, then I think a certain trio of legendary Pokémon could be lurking somewhere in these lands. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm sure my theory's not wrong. If you want some proof, then look there. See those prints? Copalian. My theory is that the legendary Iron Bull Pokemon, Cavern Pokemon, and Grassland Pokemon are all somewhere out here in the Crown Tundra. And there's evidence like this scattered all over the place that'll lead us to them. If I can find more evidence and collect 100% of the data needed to track these legendary Pokemon, then I bet we can use my Pokemon Finder to figure out what habitats they're living in. It's not important to the story if I recall correctly, but this place is wicked cold and it's putting me in hibernation mode. Are you planning to stick around here for a while, the VGM? Think you could try to spot more evidence like this and report it to me when you find it? I'll reward you for your hard work, of course. Well, isn't catching the legendary Pokemon reward enough? I'll be waiting in that house there, so I can stay warm and cozy and maybe feel my fingers. Maybe could just warm it for starters. Er, so that I can grip a pen and write, of course, since I'll be working so hard on my research. Leech. You gave me a book and I can't even read the book. the other two wounds be. Oh, Weavile. Those Sneasel, man, they'll, they'll run up to you. I imagine the Weavile will be just the same. Stop right there. Well, you remember how rare lychee berries were in Pokemon Emerald? Oh, more footprints. Honestly, that should just be an afterthought for. Oh, hello. Ha! <laughs> wow. Why is Verizion in the... Why is it here? Oh, hello. This one is... Oh, this one's Registeel. Well, here we go again. Ah, that's a good move. Oh, something is written on the door. Let ring the piercing note that will wake the giant of steel. Hmm. Do I have a key um a key item for that? Let ring the piercing note. Metal sound? Mm, piercing notes, piercing notes. This one's a little more vague. Like, ring the piercing notes. Damn. Okay. I forgot that you can even do that in this game. Thank you. The huge Pokemon statue is looking down at you. Something changed in the air. What Pokemon would I use to best resist Registeel? 
I'm just gonna assume it still has fighting type attacks in it. GG Jeggies or Yeah, it took me a while to figure out and accidentally press whistle when it happened. <laughs> wow. Surely I can't be the first book um person ever to open these doors. Ooh. And defense. Maybe I should switch Pokemon. Alright, Iron Defense and Flash Cannon. Charge Beam? This will hurt ya. Damn. Do I try it again? I might actually knock it out. I'll try it again. Damn. <laughs> Shit. Knocked it out. Yeah, I probably could have just tried again. I didn't even use a Pokeball, but honestly, bottles are great too. I exist. Oh, yes, you do. I picked up a bottle cap about five minutes ago. Got one of the Reggies. Still gotta catch the other two. And then I'm starting to find the footprints of the, uh... Um... Uh, what's their name? The Legendary Swords of Justice. Oh, Paralyze and then switch out, I guess. Maybe I should use a few, um, X special defenses. What's its fourth move, though? Thank you for respecting the part of a bottle. Yeah, and in this game, um, they're coveted, surprisingly. The gold ones, especially. You need those for, uh, you know, if you have a legendary Pokemon and you want to, uh, max out the EVs of its other two sets. Let's see how much damage this does. Steel types don't resist ghosts and, and dark type moves anymore. So this should deal some damage. That tickled. I didn't even put a dent. Iron Defense. Ah, crap. Actually, you know what? It's probably for the best. If it's still only yellow, I'll use one Psychic Things. Hmm. Oh. Okay, maybe another Phantom Force. I mean, I just have to knock it into the red. Then it can just spam Iron Defense all at once. Nice. Okay, I should probably use an X Special Defense. At least one. You know, for once, I should probably buy some more of those. It might come in handy.
Luckily for me, Charge Beam um, doesn't always increase its special attack. So I'll have to gauge that. Oh. Ooh, okay. Heavy Slam, Flash Cannon, Iron Defense, and Charge Beam. Huh? Again, it just looks so small, doesn't it? But it's not. Feel it? That's fear. <laughs> back to back. Come on, send the ball, it's just as round as you. It was thinking it was comfortable for a sec, and then decided, nah, the, the wallpaper is terrible. Use heavy slam five times if I recall correctly. Boy, this one's really getting paralyzed. Maybe it's because you're metal. Oh boy. I'm lucky they're pretty defensive. All three of these, anyway. But I have looked at the stats of uh, Reggie Draco and Reggie Alecki. There. Let's see. Reggie Draco's got a lot of health, but it's pretty frail. But its signature move draws from its health, so. Those two, they're a bit more offensive minded, though. Reggie Alec is fast, though. But again, they're both pretty frail. This one didn't be a. This one. This one wasn't as a, as much of a pain in the ass as its rocky brethren. <laughs> Reggie Steele's data will be added to the Pokedex. Fun fact. Um, I think it's Pokemon Platinum Sprite. Um, I think in the European version of this game, or not originally, they edited. Um, they edited its sprite. Because it originally looked like it was doing the Sieg Heil salute. You know the one. It's rumored that this Pokemon. Oh, 643, damn. That this Pokemon was born deep underground in the planet's mantle, and then it emerged onto the surface 10,000 years ago. Yeah, that's what Regigigas wants you to think. It stuck a rock. Um, it stuck a rock up its ass, clenched its cheeks, crapped out solid steel, and then molded that bitch with its bare hands. Let the first Pokémon hold and never- no, that's not right. Let ring out the piercing note that will wake the Giant of Steel. When I whistled before the door, it opened and I found Regis Steel. Now, what's this one supposed to be? Something of snow. 
Hey, finally. Yeah, this one didn't give you as much problems. Oi, oi, Peony here. Haven't hurt yourself or anything, have you? I didn't trip on a rock. On a Reggie rock. Come again? You've gone and met the steel giant Reggie Steel? Yeah, <laughs> smash and work, chief. Now take that energy and co-catch the others. Keep up the good work. Hell yeah, man. I think I'll wrap it up when I catch Reg Ice. And then that leaves uh, some other stuff, but... Yeah, let's see. Uh, well, I'll have to go back to back to base. How long have I been live streaming for? I started at... 1, right? Oh. And to think I've even bothered with the with, with finding the mayor yet. My drag bolt is putting in work. Pseudo legendary. Fast as lightning, apparently. Actually, he is quite fast. Jesus, that speed. Jesus, that speed! Wait! Holy crap, Magical Hat, slow the fuck down! Impressive! I normally don't much care for speed with my Pokémon. I prefer them having a bit more sturdiness to them. Smells like mint. Hmm. Maybe I should try to catch those Pokemon in the live stream. Or maybe I could just uh, screen cap it and put it on Twitter then say that I've caught them. I don't think they're part of the story though. What I do know is that when you catch, um, Cobelian, Terrakian, and Verizian, and then bring them to a particular spot to draw a Keldeo, uh, you gotta make curry and feed it to them. And then all of a sudden Keldeo appears and he's like, Hey, how come they're having curry and I can't? I want some curry too. Hmm. Where are the other runes? Oh, I was on here for a while. Lol. Got two of the three Reggies. Well, there's actually no, there's six of them technically. Oh dear, loop looped. Maybe it's down here. Yeah, I just read that and I haven't done that yet. I mean, I already have um all of them. Keldeo's nice though, because it's it's originally an event legendary, but not not in this case. If you don't have Keldeo, you're in luck. If I recall correctly, Keldeo's a pretty good Pokemon to have too. Oh god, don't touch me. What? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's... I just noticed it was a tombstone that I picked up a Poké Doll from. Ooh, that's a little morbid. <laughs> oh, I'd slap that ass. I'm not trying to look for the footprints, but I do see them. Mm, I should probably get those berries. Oh, look, more footprints. 
Obviously, Virizion likes fruits. There is Reggie Rock and Reg Ice and Reggie Steel in the two Generation 8 ones, but I don't know if I should count Reggie Gigas. You should. It's the, um. It's the, uh. There's a term for it. It's. Oh, Trio Master. You know, a legendary Pokemon that governs over, um, two or three others. Like, technically, Lugia governs over, um, Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. Um. Oh, hello. Well, that's not so hard. I might have overshot one for all I know. True, it creates the trio. How did it create... Oh, God. Um... Oh, my. How did it create the other two, though? Did it just go... Eh, I'm bored. I'll create something new to, uh... To remind people of my existence. That's probably not the right way, is it? No. I'm probably not supposed to- oh, an Archon. I'm probably not supposed to go there just yet. And it truly creates the- uh, it creates the trio. Ah, apricots. Or oh, apricorns, I'm sorry. Ugh, there's a lot of copper watches here. It almost feels like I'm speed playing this game. That's a clay doll. Oh no, I'm sorry, that's a bronzong. Ooh, hello. Yeah, it took it, big whoop. Wanna fight about it? Come here. Mm. Nah. God, I don't want I don't want to encounter any of them. Oh god. Where's Reg Ices? I'll sick my Cinderace on him. Is that a magic harp? Hey, it's a uh creepy. Oh. <laughs> I'll ignore those. It's probably giving me stuff that I already have. Oh, you son of a... Bad Dragon, the Galar Champion. That sounds like a... That sounds like the name of a Sonic OC. Yeah, this game's practically giving me healing items. Oh, that's Reggie Rocks. Hmm. Maybe it's in the water. Like across a body of water, and I'll see it. I think Fletcher's is in the cold area. Hmm. Might be off then. Oh, now that's worth finding. Oh, that too. But I already have one. 
My Hatcherin's holding a life orb. Because, you know, it can also heal itself. Oh, whoa. A load of here? So pretty. Oh, no. Probably up in the mountains somewhere. Ah. Uh, let me try flying over there, then. I can probably fly back there, though. No. Around here could be here. I have no idea. Damn it. Even f There's a lot of fossil Pokemon here. I've seen Archon, Amara, Kabuto. Oh, you're kidding me. This is just a dead end. Oh, with the rare candy, though. Oh, no, it's not a dead end. Oh, this is that winding cave. Uh, Cobalion was here. Oh, there's a Kabutops. Dang. Yoink. <laughs> Don't touch me. Hey! I've already got I've I've already got one of you though. I moved my buff. Ah, hell. Imagine if they were in packs. That can't be normal, that's leaving blue footprints. Zubats. There's always Zubats in caves. There's even a Riolu here. Ah, that's cute. Oh, this one's got some. This one's got some fight. Damn shame, Mega Evolution's not in this game. Some Pokemon are only competitive through Mega Evolution. Oh god. I can't jump that. I can probably find a way around it. Mm, maybe not. Oh god, don't touch me. Hey, its mouth's closed. Huh! They closed their mouths. 
Oh god, he's getting ready to charge. Okay, maybe not. Hmm, you know, this seems... Oh, wow. Where am I? Hmm. Wow. I'm not in Kansas anymore. Look at these seal corpse feel. Oh, now we have a Tortuga. An Avalug and a... I remember this Pokemon being a little hard to find. <laughs> Not anymore, huh? Imagine fighting for Prince in the water. That'd be kind of comical. Galerica twigs go all around. Until we've crafted nature's crown, a wreath of twigs is what we've wound. Huh. Don't I already have one? Probably around here. Oh, screw it. Do I have enough to give you? Damn. She probably makes like a uh, like a held item for my Pokemon. Maybe it's a good one. Maybe it's an, maybe it's not. I have no idea. I think there was someone in the Isle of Armor that would give me eight um for them. I don't see any temples around here, but this is no um, this is nice looking. I see more footprints. Is it possible to miss any? Maybe I missed a couple. At least they stand out from the ground, not like the Diglett. Hey, look! A friend! Oh, hello. Oh. Well, I found the final one. But I haven't seen the Red Ice, uh, I haven't seen the Red Ice Temple. Dang. Maybe I should call it um for the live stream for now. A giant of rock, a giant of ice, a giant of steel. When gather the three giants, the door of destiny shall be opened, and then I can choose between um which of the two I want to fight. I'll go Reggie Draco just because I think I have a better um team for it. Reggie Lucky might give me problems with its um. I don't have a ground type in my party. Oh, 
Ah, okay. There's a lot of exploring in this place, though. It's nice. I oh, got Subats. I think I'm going in circles now. Oh, don't touch. Ah, hey, there you are. Yeah, I missed a couple of footprints, I think. They're probably back around there. a good move. Yeah, I think I'll wrap it up for now. Um, I'll save Regice for later, and I've seen where you can catch Reggie Lucky or Reggie Draco, and then there's this and this, so yeah, I want to say I've made pretty good progress so far. Oh, maybe it's up here. Or around here? Somewhere. But yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap it up for today. Besides, I got some uh, some mail to send up before I have to do uh, Postmates and DoorDash before I have to go to work, so... Uh, let me just... I don't really need to pursue Pokemon, do I? Nah, they didn't even fight, because uh, I've just been avoiding all the fighting. I mean, they, they would give me experience, but they'd barely give me any. Alright, so... What long have I been livestreaming for? Oh, yeah! Yeah. Holy shit, I've been livestreaming for almost three hours. <laughs> That's good. Time flies. Uh, Red Ice? The... The, uh... Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, their Galarian forms. Calyrex. Maybe this one's three livestreams, I don't know. The, um... Cobalion, Terekian, Verizian, Keldeo, they're afterthoughts, honestly. But I've made a lot of progress in fighting Cobalion. So yeah, I'm going to continue playing right where I left off for tomorrow. This is the Video Game Maniac signing off. Thank you so much, Drake Dragon, the Dragon Hero Fiery Rewise. Bottles are great too. Uh, bu 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 Alexander Loss, Death Destroyer, Gigantic Yeti 6 Mark. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I love you guys. And we're going to continue this uh, surprisingly exciting DLC tomorrow. Take care.